Man. But I was watching another guy the other day talking about his bestseller. And this is what he said. He said, if you want to be successful in business, forget about making the customer happy. Do you all have a problem with that? You see, I have a big problem with that. Forget about making the customer happy. He said, if you want to be successful in business, spend all of your time and your energy making your employees happy. Now, here's the problem with that. You can't make employees happy. <laughs> you can't. Nothing against employees. It's just that you cannot make another human being happy, not if they don't want to be happy. Isn't that right? Say you bet. In fact, about the last thing in this world I want is somebody showing up and trying to happy me into happy. And you all know what I'm talking about. They're everywhere. Every office has one. Every group's got one. Every organization, every business, you name it. Little Susie Sweet Cheeks who comes running up to you in the morning saying, is Mr. Grumpy having a bad day? Get the hell out of my face. I got work to do. Besides, who cares if you're happy? Nobody. Nobody cares if you're happy. Sorry, that's the real world. You aren't paid to be happy. Don't think you are. You're an idiot if you think you're paid to be happy. Did you ever get a paycheck in your whole life that down in the memo section said, we're going to pay you this time just because you're so darn happy? <laughs> you don't get paid to be happy on the job. You get paid to do your job. Isn't that right? Say you bet. Yeah. That's what it really comes down to. Nobody cares if you're happy. Nobody. You don't care whether I'm happy up here. You paid me to do my job. Isn't that right? Say you bet. That's why I'm here, to do my job. I got a lot of people who work for me. Trust me, they don't care whether Larry's having a good day or not. They're counting on me to do what I do so they can get paid. Isn't that true? That's what it really comes down to. We're telling people they've got to be happy all the time. It's not fair. I was doing a deal, and I went to dinner with a bunch of friends, and we all went out, and we were sitting there at the restaurant, and we go in, and we sit down at the table, and the waiter comes up, and this is the first thing out of his mouth. He said, I'm just telling you right now, don't expect very good service from me tonight. I'm having a really bad day. Now, what can I get you? <laughs> I said, well, you can get me a new waiter. <laughs> he said, no, I'm serious. I said, oh, trust me, so am I. <laughs> I said, get me a new waiter. He said, I can't do that. You see, this is my table. I said, now, you see, you're confused. This is my table. I'm paying for this table. It's my table, not yours. He said, I'll be right back. He goes gets the manager. Here comes the manager. Manager says, there a problem? I said, no problem with me at all. I want a new waiter. He said, why do you want a new waiter? I said, how stupid would I be as a customer to pay for bad service that has been promised me in advance? <laughs> Get me a new waiter. He said, sir, you don't understand. He really is having a bad day. I don't care. Nobody cares. The problem we have right now in America is we tell people you got to be happy all the time. You got to love what you do.